everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making number 295 granny square of our 365 days of granny squares. This square is so simple. It is called four petal flower square. It is a flat design of a floral kind of design. So it's really cool. And it's designed by Claire from Crochet Leaf. So make sure you check out her website. Make sure you click the link in the description of this video for her uh, written pattern. She has fabulous photos in there. She has um, conversions from written in UK terms and in US terms. So if you're unfamiliar with the way uh, crochet terms are different in the US and UK, you can follow along with her pattern and uh, you know expand your crochet knowledge. Also, at the end of this uh, pattern, there is an extra round to do a frilly edge, a nice loop edge on the outside of your square. You can follow along with her pattern to do that, but I omitted that in my crochet tutorial today. So you can follow her written pattern to make that. Also in this last round here, I did single crochets, which is what the pattern calls for, but you can do half double crochets or double crochets to make your square a little bigger because this square turned out to be about 15 centimeters, which is about six inches. So if you wanted to make it a little bigger, um, then you can use a bigger or smaller or hook or whatever you want to do. I'm going to demonstrate this with an H size crochet hook, which is five millimeters. So make sure you have that handy as well as a yarn needle and a scissor because we'll be cutting our yarn and sewing in our ends, especially if you change color, which I am going to be changing color three different times in this project. So I'm using three colors. This is a Red Heart Super Saver yarn. These are just a 10 ply size four worsted weight medium yarn. But you could use a double knitting yarn in this as well if you wanted to. If you don't have access to worsted weight yarn, uh, you can use any medium style yarn, um, like a fingering weight or a you know double knitting style. Also, before we start, I have to mention there are links in the description of this video. So there's a link to Claire's written pattern, like I said, but there's also a link to my Facebook and Instagram. Make sure to share your photo of your square. I want to see what color your floral part in this middle here uh, comes out to be. So make sure you share your photo on the Facebook, like my page, and then share it in the comment section of this post. So just find this square on the wall and then in the comment section, share a photo of yours. Just take your, you know, cell phone or whatever you have a camera and snap a photo and share your photo. Also, uh, you can snap a photo to me on Instagram or on uh, Snapchat. I'm Yarn Utopia on Snapchat, but on Instagram, I'm Yarn Utopia by Nadia Fouad. So make sure you find me on Instagram, follow me there. And then also if you share a photo on Instagram, make sure to uh, hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag Yarn Utopia. I want to see your square on there too. So I'll double tap them and like your photos. Uh, also, last thing I have to say a big thank you to my dad, Fouad much for taking the time to make these videos with us. He is our videographer, editor, and photographer for all of Yarn Utopia's videos. So make sure that you subscribe subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and uh, we can give you that update on when he posts our next video tomorrow. <laughs> so let's get started and make number 295 granny square. Let's start out by making a slip knot. So put your short end over the long end, then fold that down over that. There we go. And then pull that through and pull tight, insert your hook and we can start. So let's start out by chaining six. So yarn over and pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna go all the way to that first chain we made and make a slip stitch in there to form a ring. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. Okay, so we just formed a ring. If you know how to start with the magic ring, you can start that way as well. But going right on to round number one, we're gonna chain up one that doesn't count as anything. And we're going to put, um, let's see here, 12 single crochets into this ring. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay, then go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's two, this is three, this is four, here's five, here's six. You can see I'm working in a circular form. I'm working over the top of my straggler or this loose end here, kind of hide that. This is nine, I think, <laughs> 10. 
10, 11, and 12. So you just want to make sure, count back, make sure you have 12 single crochets. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. And go into the first single crochet of this round right there and yarn over and pull through and through to close that. Now there's a big giant hole there, but we can pull that straggler and cinch that center tight. Just like that. Lovely. Now going on to round number two, we are going to chain up four. So yarn over and pull through one, two, three, and four. We're going to skip this next stitch here and we're going to slip stitch into the next stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Then we're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four. We're going to skip these next two stitches and then slip stitch into the next stitch there. Go in, yarn over, pull through and through. Then chain four, one, two, three, and four. Skip these next two stitches and slip stitch into the next stitch here. Then chain four, one, two, three, and four. Skip all these stitches left over and slip stitch into, you could either slip stitch into this first chain four space or at the bottom of this chain here. So go in, yeah, oopsie, don't do that. <laughs> go into the chain, the first chain there, yarn over, pull through, and then pull through. So you want to make sure you have four chain four spaces like that. Okay. Now going on to round three, that was really simple. So going on to round three now, we are going to slip stitch into the first chain space. So if you want to, you can change color here, but I'm just going to slip stitch into this chain four space, yarn over, pull through and through. Okay. And then we're going to chain up four, one, two, three and four. And that's going to count as our first treble crochet of this round. Now in the same space here, in the same chain four space, we're going to put six treble crochets. So yarn over twice, go into the chain four space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two more loops, and yarn over and pull through those last two loops. That's a treble crochet. So again, yarn over twice, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's two. This is three, four, five, and six. But it should look like you have seven stitches in there because that chain up four counts as one. Then we're going to chain two, one, two, and we're going to put seven treble crochets into the next chain four space. And then we're just going to repeat that. So then just chain two and then put seven treble crochets into the next chain four space. Okay. And do that all the way around. I'll meet you up at the end of round three. We'll go on to round four together. When you're finished with this round, make sure to chain two and then slip stitch to this beginning chain up four here. One, two, three, and four. Just go in, then yarn over and pull through and through. Okay, so that was round three. Going on to round four, if you are not changing color, slip stitch into these next two stitches and then into this stitch right here. So in these next three stitches, you want to start this next round in a middle treble crochet of a seven uh, treble crochet grouping. So slip stitch into this stitch, into this stitch, and then into this stitch right here. Okay. And then uh, chain up, let's see here chain up four and go on to round four with me. But I'm actually going to chain one here and cut this yarn, pull it through and pull tight. And now if you're changing color, start in a middle treble crochet, just like I showed you. And then hook on the new color, pull that through and then chain up four. One, two, 
three, and four. And that's going to count as our first treble crochet of this round. Now in the same stitch, we are going to put three treble crochets. So yarn over twice, go into that same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. Just like we did in that last round, we're using treble crochets here. So we have to put three treble crochets in that stitch. So it looks like there's four, actually. Then we have to chain two, one, two. And in the same stitch, we're gonna put four more treble crochets. So all in that same stitch there. So, oh my goodness, there's nature. Okay, <laughs> one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that looks like there's four treble crochets, chain two, and four treble crochets. And that's our corner for our square. Now we are going to, let's see here, five double crochets into the next chain two space. So hop over to this chain two space and put five double crochets in there. So yarn over once for a double crochet, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. Okay, that's a double crochet. So you have to make five of those. So yarn over again, go into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. So that's two. This is three, four, and five. Then we're going to hop into the fourth treble crochet of this next seven treble crochet grouping. So right in this one right here, we're going to make our corner. So it's four treble crochets. One, two, three, and four, then chain two, one, two, and then put four more treble crochets in there. Then we're going to put uh, five double crochets in the chain two space, and then just repeat that around. So if you need to, follow along with the written pattern, check out those photos to make sure you know where exactly to go. Uh, otherwise, I'll meet you up for the next round. All right, when you come back around, just slip stitch to the stop of this uh, chain up four here. Go in, yarn over, and pull through and through. Now, if you're changing color, fasten off here and start in the same stitch, though. I'm not going to change color yet. I'm just going to chain one, and then we're going to single crochet into that same stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two loops. And we're gonna single crochet in each of these next three stitches. So go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Into the next, single crochet and single crochet. Now when you get to this corner, chain two space, we're going to actually put five half double crochets in there. So yarn over, go into this chain two space, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on your hook. That's a half double crochet. So again, yarn over, go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. So that's two, this is three, four, and five. Then we're going to single crochet in each of the sti uh, 13 stitches on the side. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. And now we're back to the corner here. So we're going to put five half double crochets in the corners. One, two, three, four, and five. And then just repeat what we did. So single crochet in each stitch on the side, and then the corners put five half double crochets. So just do that, and then I'll meet you up at the end of this round. When you come around, you're only gonna have to do a single crochet in the last nine because we did these first uh, few here uh, before this corner. So then we're just gonna slip stitch to the first single crochet. So go in, yarn over, pull through, and pull through. 
Now at this point, if you're not changing color and going on to round six, just chain up one and go on to round six with me. I'm gonna chain one and actually cut my yarn and pull it through and pull tight. And we're gonna start in the same stitch. So just go into that same stitch there uh, that we just lip stitched into and just hook on the new color and then chain up one. Okay, and then uh, this round I'm going to do single crochets. You could substitute if your square is small, you can do double crochets here. Uh, but I'm just going to do single crochets because that is what the uh, written pattern has. So we're going to single crochet in the same stitch. So go in, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And we're going to single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four and five. This should get you to the middle double or half double crochet of this um, five uh, half double crochet grouping. And in this middle one here, we are going to put four single crochets. So one, two, three, and four. Okay, all in that same stitch. Then we're going to put one single crochet in the next 17 stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16 and 17 which gets you to the middle double half double crochet of this five half double crochet grouping in the corner and we're going to put four single crochets in that stitch one two three and four and then just continue on working a single crochet in each stitch once you get to the middle half double crochet of the corner just put four single crochets in there so uh if you need to follow along with the written pattern like i said though you could ha uh, substitute this for ha half double crochets or double crochets totally up to you but i will i will meet you up at the end of this round and we'll fasten off together all right, when you've single crocheted all the way around, just slip stitch to the first single crochet of this round, just like that, and fasten off. So chain one, cut your yarn, pull it through, and pull tight. There is an extra round uh, for a frilly edge. If you wanted to make a nice frilly edge on yours, you can follow along with Claire's pattern on her website. Uh, but I am just going to fasten off here and be done with number 295 five granny square oh my gosh 295 can you believe that <laughs> there's only 70 left of this year i'm like what this is insane this is awesome okay there we go and then you can block this if you need to but it looks so lovely. That was so simple, worked up very fast. So I hope you enjoyed this square. Make sure to share your photos on Facebook and Instagram. Hashtag 365 days of granny squares and hashtag yarn utopia. So I can see that square today. And also share your photo on the Facebook. Make sure you're following me on both platforms. Thank you to those who are subscribing to my channel. We're so close. I mean, we are, we are getting a lot of subscribers. Thank you so much, everybody, <laughs> for subscribing to my channel. And make sure you sub support us. There's that eye in the corner of this video. Thank you to those who are supporting us. I will see you tomorrow. Happy hooking!